To Virginia, where a budget battle is shaping up in the Commonwealth. We told you yesterday, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin is proposing more than 200 amendments to the state budget. Well, Democrats also have some power here. They control both chambers of the General Assembly. So how could this impact you, Virginia voters? Our Simone Dialba spoke with Governor Youngkin about his path forward. Hi, Simone. Hi, Zoe. The potential for a budget veto is not entirely off the table here. Important to keep that in mind. Governor Youngkin will have to find a way forward with Democrats. But is that possible? Given how contentious this session has been, one thing we know about Virginia politics, anything is possible. Here's part of our conversation today. If you and the General Assembly cannot come to a consensus, will you be vetoing the budget? Well, I, I think it's premature because I think we can come to consensus. Uh, that's why I presented this budget that I believe uh, reaches way across the aisle, uh, uses a, a, an enormous amount of resources that are available to us in order to meet the General Assembly's uh, objectives in a very material way. You've issued an unprecedented number of vetoes this session, the most of any single term by a Virginia governor. And speaking specifically here to Virginia voters, how do you assure them that you and the Democrats are going to be able to find a bipartisan path forward with this budget? The General Assembly sent me uh, 1,046 bills. Um, that was a much larger number than, than I've received the last couple of years. Uh, and I go to work on every one. I read every bill and I assess every bill individually. Uh, and we signed 777 bills. It has been a contentious at times legislative session. I think specifically uh, back to you and Senator Lucas going to battle over the arena proposal. Um, and I'm, I'm wondering here, you've called it a common ground budget. Does your budget proposal feel like a bit of an olive branch here to Democrats? I am disappointed that we're not celebrating uh, moving the Wizards and the Capitals to Virginia. I think it's a great opportunity for the Commonwealth. But the reality is we've got to move forward and not look backwards. You never got anywhere by looking in the rearview mirror. And so we've got to press forward for Virginians. And I think this is a great chance for us to do so in a common ground budget that we can, in fact, pass together and, uh, and continue to drive Virginia to the kinds of future opportunities that we know she should have. As you heard, the governor was emphasizing some common ground during our interview, but it appears not advocating for tax cuts was a bit of a peace offering of sorts just to get Democrats back to the negotiating table. So, so we're going to have to see if that holds up when lawmakers return in mid-April. Yeah, both sides got to put their differences aside to get this done. Simone, thank you.